and ready to slap a uh, brand new blade on this bandsaw. And this is the W billet. Got it all ground clean. Got it marked out. I'm gonna cut it into four pieces and we're gonna stack it up. We're also gonna put some 1084 in between the uh, in between the layers to add a added cool effect or hopefully it'll be cool. So we're gonna do all that and then we're gonna surround this in, uh, in metal like we did with the other billets to keep the oxygen and atmosphere off of the billet completely. I was looking at the steel really carefully and it looked like it welded up really well doing that. So I think I'm gonna do that on the whole process to get really good welds. The uh, forge worked really, really well so far. It looks like it's holding up pretty good. I'll, uh, I might I might take the lid off before I start it again and uh, check it out and see see how solid everything feels. But so far it's looking good. It feels really solid. I set the billet up on the on the back wall at one point and it laid up on there uh, without doing any damage. Let's cut this billet up. Oh man, these welds are looking clean. Clean, clean. So something I'm trying to stress on this billet more so than I've ever done before is cleanliness. I've never done the, the metal surrounding all the way around the billet, all the way through every stage. I've only done it random times here and there and it's been really good every time I did it. So I'm doing that all the way through. And then I'm also cleaning off scale on the uh, edges of the billet and stuff that I normally just leave on there. I'm taking off about 95% of it. So I'm, I'm going for super, super clean and the welds the welds so far are just absolutely invisible, which is excellent. All right, so now we're gonna clean the ends off, sand the ends off, and then we'll uh, dip them in acid real quick just to see the pattern and help us get the pattern lined up because I wanna line the pattern up as closely as possible. And you gotta be able to see it to do it. Doing a quick etch on the ends of the billet the uh, billet pieces now. Got a little really old, old, worn out ferric chloride in here. Really old. When it quits etching my knives how I like it, I throw it in this tank and use it out here in the shop for looking at billets and uh, throw the previous one away. I don't know if you can see that. You guys may have noticed I wrote some numbers on each of these pieces and uh, now I'm transferring the number over to the end of the billet. I will show you why that's really important later. Really important. So now that I have the pattern revealed on the ends of the billet, I wanna lightly sand over the, uh, the surfaces that are gonna get forge welded because the uh, ferric chloride residue I've noticed can sometimes act as like an anti-scaling compound when I uh, put it on a blade and then stick it in the heat treating oven at a high temperature. So I, I don't wanna take a chance of it forming some kind of weird layer that'll keep the billets from welding in there. So I'm gonna just lightly sand that off. I'm just putting the numbers back up here so they're nice and easy to see when we lay these out. In order to get the pattern to mirror itself all the way through the billet, you need to keep track of the number, uh, keep track of the order the piece is going and that's why I write the numbers on there. Let's just take these for example. To get the pattern on the end of this billet to be uh, uh, mirroring itself perfectly, all you gotta do is fold it over like this. And now this end, the pattern mirrors perfectly. And this end, the pattern mirrors as close to perfect as possible. The only variance will be uh, if, if the layers did something funny or dramatically different in between here and here. It will change that way, but there's, there's nothing you can do about that. And then to keep that, that mirrored pattern going all the way through the billet, I wanna keep it all the way through the billet. So the, the first piece, I fold it over like that. Now I want this end to mirror this one. So all I have to do with this one is just lay it flat on here. So it's going like, uh, like this now. And then with this last piece, we put it on here and flip it up. And now the pattern is mirrored uh, all the way through the billet. See if you can get a close up of that, that pattern, Josh. How it'll, uh, how it'll all match up really well that way. The other end will have a couple little spots that won't match up uh, perfectly, but that's just from variation in the, the layers uh, throughout the billet. They will match up about as close as, as you can get by uh, setting up the, uh, the pieces like this. I'm still torn on what I wanna do. 
I, I want to add some layers though in between in between these pieces. I don't know if I want to go with a black strip or a uh, 15 and 20 bright strip. Everything's fighting me. My forge falls apart. My bandsaw falls apart. Super glue lid is super glued on. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to go with dark layers in between. So these are just the right width too. I had this inch and a quarter, eight inch thick, 1084 laying around. I'm gonna put these in between these big W layers. They should add a cool look. Make sure I get that back in the right place. Okay, so make sure I keep these in the right order. Everything nice and clean. A little super glue and some accelerant. And then I should be able to move this end around. Yeah, buddy. A little more accelerant. I'm liking that. There we go. Got the next piece, cleaning all the dust and stuff off of it. Barely see the pattern, so it's it's not like I could easily see it and line it up. Okay, this end over here is close. Or I mean, uh, there, not close. It's right where I want it. And the other end is close. Now I can move this over. I really want to spend the time now to get these lined up as close as possible because it may be a subtle detail, but in the final product, when you spend the time lining these up, it really adds to the look, I think, in the Mosaic Damascus, when the pattern lines up really well. In, in, certain, in certain ones, uh, certain types of mosaics don't really lend, them, lend themselves to the kind that need to be all lined up, but I think this is gonna be one where, where it'll be noticeable. This accelerant, by the way, guys, accelerates the super glue setting, because even though super glue is fast, sometimes, it can take a little while to set up and this just makes it take a couple seconds. All right, let me do a little quick inspection. Make sure I got them lined up. I'm gonna move this, this top layer over just a little bit. All right, that looks good. This should be ready for the ends to be welded up on it. And then once the ends are welded up, I can go ahead and put some sheet metal on the sides just to encapsulate the, uh, the billet, close it all in. So, to the welder. It's ready for the forge now. We've got the uh, outside mild steel all welded onto it and uh, have all the seams closed up. The end looks pretty cool, I think. <laughs> so right after we get this forge welded, I'll do what I did with the, the first starting out billets and uh, grind off all this extra mild steel on the sides and we'll forge this thing out. So this bar is four W's with some black pieces in between like you saw. I need to make sure I forge this out a certain way. I need to get it down to like an inch and a half or maybe an inch and five eighths square bar and then I'll re-square the, the pattern. And what that'll do is right now the center of the billet is a whole bunch of 1084. It's going like this, like real, real swoopy, bubbly uh, line down the center. So once we uh, forge weld that and turn it into a square bar and re-square it, basically, It'll make it so the uh, that big bubbly part is going across the billet on an angle. And then I'll take those pieces and alternate them left, right, left, right, and it'll make this, the big bubbly center part of the billet will be going like bubbly one way and then bubbly over the other way and bubbly the other way. So yeah, I'll re-square it, draw it out into some smaller bars, and I think we're going to, we're gonna need six of those little bars 
And then the other billet we're working on is gonna go in the center. So we're gonna have these, these pieces going like this on both sides and in the center we're gonna have this uh, straight layer mosaic thing going on. In the next video there's gonna be a whole lot more forging. We've got a long way to go on this Damascus to make it really really beautiful and I hope I have enough in the end to do this big sword. So I'll see all you guys in the next video. Bye bye!